I'm a sucker for texture first off, and I, I love organic material, so I was like, what could I use? You know, Andy Warhol once said, you don't think about making art, sometimes it just happens, unexpectedly and in ways you never really imagined. And for Joshua Winston, that great moment of artistic inspiration started with an egg. I've always been really creative, and even as a child, everyone knew that I had some type of talent that was different from others. But it wasn't until I moved to Fredericksburg that I really started tapping into that creative pool that I had within me, and uh, I discovered um, eggshells. I began doing flat mosaic um, pieces and eventually started turning the shells over. It really created a beautiful texture that I really enjoyed and I couldn't stop evolving the way that they uh, kind of protruded out of the canvas. Well, there's not really a name for them. Joshua simply calls his pieces eggshell sculptures, a unique medium where chicken, emu, and ostrich eggs are transformed into works of art. Some say they look like barnacles, others say something from an otherworldly planet with jagged and chipped shells protruding here and there. But Joshua says there's a method to the madness and that each piece is exactly where it needs to be. So you don't just randomly put those things on there like that? Not at all. If you look at the piece, you know, you can kind of see where it flows. And I don't know why it's right or wrong, but it just feels right to me. And I think every single piece, including the pieces that are broken, um, even the pieces down here on the bottom, it all has its own part in the story. And the story is the flow and going from the bottom to the top, the emergence of the pieces coming up. So it's just continual uh, evolution. Art has always had a way of saying what words never really could. Pieces are woven with life stories and reflect an artist's past, their joys and struggles, their ups and downs. And for Joshua, well, his art is about showing how to become whole again after being broken by life. I think um, my art is a direct reflection of myself and my life experience, which we, just like the egg, we all come into the world as a really beautiful, whole, you know, pieces, eggshells. And something generally happens to where we become broken. And, you know, just like whenever I moved to the Hill Country, it was kind of a place to say, okay, I'm gonna take all of these broken pieces that I have and put them together as beautifully as I can to make something valuable and something that other people can love and, and enjoy. You talk about being broken. What made you broken? Uh, I guess you could say that my childhood was just as dysfunctional as the next, um, you know, but, uh, Eventually, I started playing football around seven years old, and that kind of really became my identity, and I really enjoyed it for a long time until it was taken away from me by a career-ending injury whenever um, I went to college. And then what happened? Um, well, um, it wasn't too long until I dropped out and went back into the real world. I had no, um, you know, no identity, no education no um, grasp of who I really was. The best way to put it is that I ran from, uh, from myself, from, uh, from the things that I needed to sit down and really face. And, you know, I think there's two elements to, to my, my, my life experience, which would be, let's say, like a light and dark. Uh, there's always things that happen, um, and then there's always ways to come out of it, you know? And I think there's a lot of beauty in that, especially to make it to come out of the other side and to be able to kind of look back and see exactly what it was that you did to get out and hopefully share that with others as well. Do you think other people understand your art or do you have to be standing there to explain it to him? I've had people walk up to my art and start crying and she said I'd never experienced anything like this ever. There's something that I, I feel like I can put into the work that translates to the everyday person to kind of connect on a deeper emotional level. That's the whole inspiration behind the art. 
we all know it takes a couple of cracked eggs to make an omelet. And Joshua says it's funny just how much that reflects our lives. We get broken, bruised, and knocked down, but he says the trick is finding a way to get back up and putting yourself back together again, one piece at a time. In the bottom you have a lot of broken, I mean, they're almost fragments of eggs that are broken down in such a way to where it took a lot of power. It took a, a lot to get them broken down that far. And then you have these on the top that are really starting to become whole. I, I believe that that's how my life has been, you know? But along with my story, I would love to be able to, um, to inspire others to kind of do uh, the same thing I did and find some purpose within all the broken pieces of life.